Hey everyone, it's Eric here from Lapix. So sometimes if you have like a nice gaming session or if you're doing a lot of work and you put the computer to sleep, then all of a sudden, right when the black screen comes up, then wait, it just turns itself back on again just for no reason, absolutely no reason. And or sometimes just in the middle, randomly, maybe you left it for sleep for like an hour, 30 minutes, 15 minutes, five minutes, it comes back on. And you're like, what's going on with it? Why does it keep turning itself on? Is it something that I did? Did I accidentally press something? Did I move the keyboard or mouse? I'm not really sure what's going on. Well, we've got a pretty cool tip for you guys today. Actually, let's just go right into it. So we're going to go to um, here. Let's go to our screen capture here. And what we're going to be doing is because uh, this is going to be the major one that actually does uh, usually turn on computers is usually because there's a network adapter and maybe the network adapter is doing something in the background. And what it will do is it will actually wake up the computer while it's maybe doing something, maybe you have a lot of tabs open or something else is going on. So we want to make sure that the network adapter isn't going to be uh, interfering with the sleep properties, right? So what we can do, you can do this on Windows 10, Windows 11, or any Windows, usually it's going to be a pretty similar process, right? So we can go to this, you can go to the little start menu or you can search it, but this is a little bit better. We want to go to somewhere it's called Device Manager. And the Device Manager is going to show you all of um, your devices that are connected here. And they actually have power settings within these and also other settings and properties as well. So we're going to start with this one. Uh, we can go under network adapters and usually you would focus more on the wireless card because the wireless card is uh, what probably most people are going to be having. You can also do this with the Ethernet connection as well, but it's going to be called wireless most of the time uh, if you have it, especially if it's a wireless adapter. So we're going to go to properties and we can go to power management. And now you see this here, it says allow this device to wake up the computer. So you can check it or uncheck it. I already had it unchecked because I don't want that thing waking up my computer. Um, and you could be doing that. Now this is the major, major cause for something like that turning on itself on and off, especially if it's trying to run Windows updates in the background while you have the um, active hours set a certain way. So we can just actually just uncheck this here and hit OK. All right, so that's the major one that actually most people have. Now, sometimes if you have um, maybe like a really f uh, fragile desk or you're doing a lot close to your computer or you have a wireless mouse, actually like I do, and sometimes you move it slightly, you tap it or you bump the table, or maybe you have a cat that actually just go ahead and walk around your keyboard and it just turns on and you're like, oh, I don't want this. I don't want parts being turned on or something else being turned on uh, because of uh, external factors. Or I just want to turn on when I want to turn on, or I maybe just want to turn on because I just want to tap the power button to turn it on. I don't want other things turning on. Well, it's pretty much the same process. Let me show you guys real quick. So if we go back here, um, you can even stick to the device manager too, um, and you can actually go. There's usually mice and keyboard, right? So you can go to mouse. You can right-click the mouse, and you can go to properties. And you go to power management, and now you see here it says allow this device to wake up the computer. Very straightforward, right? Unclick that. And I have a wireless mouse actually, so this makes a lot more sense to be doing it, especially if this is in a work area too. So we make sure we disable that. Now, especially with the wireless keyboard too, because they're actually both connected to the same um, USB dongle, we can be doing this. So we'll hit allow us to uncheck this, allow this device to wake the computer. So we're going to go ahead and uncheck that. Now, there's one more one that I also want to uh, let you guys know uh, because this is something called like a wake timer and it's a power management setting. So um, if we actually go here, so I want to go to power options. You can go into search, you do power options or power plan. I think power plan, there you go. So I said power and it says edit power plan. Hey, Windows 10 search is actually pretty good today. Hmm. So if I hit that and now you can actually, you'll get this this page here and uh, this will be Windows 10, Windows 11 is pretty much the same thing. So uh, at least for this type of setting and we can actually go to this you'll see the power option here and when we check or when we hit uh, change to advanced power options we can actually hit this little sleep tab and it'll say allow for wake timers now wake timers are you can see what it says specifically if timed events should be allowed to wake this computer during sleep and now we have ours enabled and we want to make sure that this is actually going to be disabled unless you want to specifically time your computer to wake up for uh, whichever reason that you have there. So we're going to actually hit disable here. You can hit apply and hit OK. All right, guys, so that's just a quick little tip for you guys. Um, the number one thing, obviously, is the network adapter because that is the thing doing lots of other stuff in the background, especially if you're playing games, you're downloading things, watching things, uh, getting updates. Lots of stuff go on, especially if the computer is connected to the Internet. Um, so those, that's the major way to be doing that. And I also showed you a few other ways with keyboard and mouse. I could also make another video about um, waking it up via like power management. If this still doesn't work, you can uh, go into the BIOS setting, actually disable the power settings, 
in uh, like S, S0, S3, S4, S5 sleep modes. You can do lots of other things. We can be showing another video for that. That's a totally different one. I can probably do that in the future. Let me know if you guys uh, want me to do that actually down below because that's another level of uh, doing the wake and sleep options. It's a little bit extreme, but <laughs> these ones should pretty much take care of it. So you should be pretty good. Um, but yeah, that's really about it. Uh, if this video helped you guys out a lot, please uh, leave a like. It really does help us a lot. Subscribe for more content. We have lots of cool stuff, just cool little tips here. Here and there, and we'll, we do lots of liquid spill repairs, data recoveries, lots of other cool, more advanced stuff as well. But we always like to show you guys some pretty cool tips that should be very useful for you guys. So if you guys are watching again, leave a like, sub. See you guys next video. Thanks a lot. Guys, take care. Bye.